Hello, welcome back to Outer Wilds. Today, we're gonna go to Giant's Deep. I don't know why I keep thinking the opening's gonna be on this side. It is on this side. So, a couple of you were asking me whether I plan to play the DLC. And the answer is yes, yes, very emphatically yes. I will play Echoes of the Eye. The only question is, will it be right after I finish the base game, or will I take a break for a couple weeks or months? And I don't know, it depends on how I feel at the end. Right now, I am super excited. I love this game. You know, it's one of those games where, from the moment I finish playing it, I'm excited to play it again. And uh, that doesn't happen very often to me. It happened with Hollow Knight, it happened with Breath of the Wild. It's actually quite rare for me to feel that way. Okay. We're gonna go into Giant's Deep, and the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna try to hit an orbit and just skim right under the surface so I can not be too scared. All right. Whoop. We are under the surface. Okay, this isn't so bad. Oh, it's water. There's water, <laughs> and there's a big tornado right there. Okay. This is not nearly as scary as I thought. What is that? We are all over something. There is a wreckage here. Can we get out and into this wreckage? Looks like there's a... I didn't even know there was land in this planet. I thought it was a gas giant. Huh. We can just get out. This is a lot less scary. You know, some things are less scary once you get there. Why is this all scanny? Oh, it's the... It's the things. These things. <laughs> ha. Ah, this is nice. It's just stormy. Oh, hey, look. There's an effect on the on my visor. Raindrops and drips. What's the rivulets? When a drop goes down the face. Why can't I think of words right now? There's a tree. There's not much to look at out here. There's just trees. So I should just go downstairs because there's apparently stairs in this gas giant planet. <laughs> bones to my bones. So the question of getting into Giant's Deep must be about going under the water. Here's a tornado. Does it change if I stand on it? Huh. Like, can I turn off the tornadoes? So, yeah, I didn't even realize there were water spouts that I could have just fallen right into. Probably would have just shoved me back into space. That's not really that scary when you're a, when you have a spaceship. What have we as a model of the station? Okay, we got to find out what this is. It's a probe that is shooting out. All right, that is not, that is not the, this is the Nomai mystery music. It's not the space music, not the star music. So what we know is that it is monitoring the system and shooting out a probe, most likely when the sun, some, whatever happens to the sun to make it go supernova. What do we find? And nobody's ever translated this, remember. Cassava, we've heard that name before. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around Giants Deep for assembly. Orbital probe cannon. So that's the, what this thing is called. It is a cannon and it's an orbital probe. What's that sound? I don't like that sound. But I've been picked up by a tornado. But I'm now weightless. And I'm caught here in this tube. That's weird. Why do I see space? Um Okay. That was weird. Oh, I think I understand. So these tornadoes, there's islands floating. That is freaking cool. 
There's islands floating and these tornadoes come over us and throw our islands up into space. Because remember, we saw that one island go up into space that one time. That's freaking cool. And now that I understand it, it's less scary. Which was not true for the anglerfish. Our next step will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. So these sound like the teams that were on Hearth, Timber Hearth. To all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I had given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. Hmm. So whatever they were doing, they've tried it many times before. Maybe if I had given these people unique voices, I would remember their names. Daz, that's a new one. If I know my brother, Avens, and his spouse, will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible, I'm worried the cannon will, would break under the strain. I propose we give Avens and Mallow a slightly lower maximum power setting than the absolute maximum possible to create room for their enthusiasm. No, they just blast it off and it gets destroyed. <laughs> Nobody cares. Are you gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. So Ksava is Daz's love. If I'm ever half as gooey as Mallow and Avens behave together, Daz, you may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Pressing the wrong buttons. Okay, where can we go? Does this just go down into the water? Okay, we can go on the side here. And we can't walk over there. Is this a part of the probe that crashed? I wonder. Again, don't answer. It's spoilers. I don't know if I want to go out there with the possibility of getting tossed up by a tornado. Is my ship still out here? Yes. Ooh, how often do the tornadoes come by? I want to go out there. Okay, I can get over to there. I don't suppose I can uh, hit select. Yeah, that doesn't show me the tornadoes. <laughs> can I see him if I go up here? Okay, this plant has high gravity. I cannot jump very well. You know what? I'll just risk it. I got the text. That's what matters, right? Just gotta run, 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 and hope I don't get tossed up into space. Ugh, this is weird. Okay. Gotta hop over to this spot. There we go. Now more tornado safe zones ooh projection module projection stone i know how to use these now ooh what are these seven minutes 48 seconds ago long weight range probe successfully launched from the orbital probe cannon awesome uh right this thing Let's see if we can project something. Oh, right, this is for text, and the projection is over here. I have bad news, Avens. Yarrow says there was a problem with a proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Huh? But it was fired. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Cassava. That's called a leg. Need, translators need to work on that. I wish I were, my friend, but no, they aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon is on indefinite hiatus. 
Tell Privet and Mallow they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. Mallow and I will join you and Daz. Privet left to visit her brother. She fears Adea may feel responsible. So it was... Hmm. Interesting. So... What does that mean? It was called off, but it's still on, somehow. Now, we can walk under the water. I don't want to fall under the water, just because there's tentacle monsters down there. You know, I, I'm, I'm worried that there's going to be another tornado. There's been one since I was here. There's that big tornado. I gotta fly into that at least once. I wonder if there's a sound cue for tornadoes approaching. Just gotta stand here. Wait, where are we projecting? Oh, it's the cannon. Yeah, I've been here. Okay, okay. I recognize this place. I actually stood in this exact spot. Ooh. That sounds like a tornado. <laughs> Whee! We are in space. Oh. <laughs> this is frightening. Wait, how long are we going to stay in space? Huh? I see the planet. Just stand right here so I don't get crushed by momentum. Now we are underwater. We're coming back up. Okay, cool. Cool. I'll drop you there. Not gonna need you. Okay, so... What am I thinking? One of these places... So there was that projection stone at the Whitehall Station, but there was no place to put it. So we gotta find a place to put it. What is this? What do we see? It's a diagram. So there's the three modules. We need to go back up there again, too. I think I missed some stuff. Alright. I wonder if that tornado just goes around the planet. That would make sense. We gotta get over to that side. And the most fun way to do that is... Like this! Whee! <laughs> I wonder if there's caves and stuff on the undersides. I gotta check it out. I know there's another, at least one more island. What's that? Is there more stuff up there? There might be. I'll have to go check it out. Alright, the gravity here is really heavy. No, I don't, I guess that's not anything new. It would just be on top of the rocks. Let's check out this side first, since it looks empty. It's empty. Where'd that ginormous typhoon go? Oh, hey, we're moving, actually. Oh, I didn't realize. Three minutes oxygen. I gotta go back to my ship, you telling me? Um, wait, no, this is a, this is breathable, right? This should be breathable. Brittle hollow projection stone. Hmm. Okay. Anything else over here? Any text? You gotta look quickly before the tornado comes again. I know it's not gonna be for a few minutes. Alright, let's go back. Oh, we can't go back this way. Let's go back under the water. Creepy down here. Not letting me thrust. Uh, I thrusted backwards for some reason. <laughs> Something that's just that's just really creepy about underwater to me. Man, this game. 
Ah, oxygen refill. Cool. Great. That sounded sarcastic, but it wasn't. This game has revealed to me something that's exciting, and that is the fear of space and water, and it's really cool in the context of um, video games. And so, I just thought, you know, it just occurred to me the other day that I might want to we get new text for this. We do. I might want to play Subnautica sometime. Maybe. No promises. Kanoi, Daz, and I were lifting orbital probe cannon components into orbit for assembly, and one somehow sank down beneath the current. So there's a current that pushes us up. That's a good current. Kanoi, you should have seen it. We thought it was impossible for any cannon component to sink even partially below the current, but ours sank straight to the core. How did it do it? Kasava convinced me not to try to recreate the phenomenon myself using other cannon parts. <laughs> but we're very curious to know what happened. How could something pass through the current? My gratitude for your interesting question. This is exciting! Spire constructed a model of Giants Deep here at Brittle Hollow's Southern Observatory. Okay, so to go under the current, we might have to go to Brittle Hollow. I was thinking of going there soon anyway. And it reveals how an object might sink below the current. Uh, Kanoi, I'm unable to grasp the answer by looking through the projection pool. If I visit the observatory, would you kindly explain? If you don't mind the trek beneath the surface of the South Pole, I'd be delighted to see you. There are two trailheads, one at Brittle Hollow's Gravity Canyon and the other one at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Ooh, exciting. Let's check out this projection. Brittle Hollow, okay. Cool. Sort of like underground in a dome. Interesting, that's what we're looking for. Where am I? <laughs> Alright, I've already scanned this. Any typhoons coming? Is that it? Oh, it's forming. It's appearing out of nowhere. Is that coming for us? I think it is. Now is not the time to walk back over there, I think. I'm going to stand right here in this safety zone. Uh, how's the sun doing? Not get me out of this spot. I'm in trouble. The sun's still looking decently healthy. What is that? It just keeps, you know, flashing on the sun. Is it an atmosphere thing? It just feels like something appears in the center of the sun is just really bright. Well, that was cool. Let's see if we can find anything on these other islands. Hmm. There's something chill about being down here. It's surprising, because it's like... Yeah, this is... This is, uh... Inside the atmosphere of a water planet, I guess. It's gonna take a little to blast off from here. What happens if we go into this? I gotta know. Yeah. Okay, we just get blown away. It was like, oh, it's so scary. Is this one the? Will this one blow us into space? Yes. Okay, okay, that's fine. That was a big splash. All right, I'm going back in. Where are you? Oops. Yeah. Don't go back there. Here we are. Is there a per- Oh no! Oh no! 
A dark bramble seed. Oh no, I hate it. It's awful. Is there a person over here? There's a campfire. Am I gonna be able to get up there? There's no person. Ugh, hitting stuff. Oops. I'm good. Let's go. Unidentified signal nearby. There's somebody here. Ghost matter? Whoa-oh. Yeah. Ah, it's Ghost Matter Cave. So I don't want to go in there. But it looks like there might be something. Okay, here's what I do. That's the exit. And there's more. Oh wait, no. Okay, it's open to the other side. There's something on the other side. I love how this probe is indestructible. Even if you shoot it into a quantum moon and that quantum moon dequantifies, it's still there. <laughs> yeah, there's ghost matter. Is a someone here? Can I go through here? I noticed that the ghost matter had like things in the cave. Um. All right, I'm good to go through here. Hey, I found you. This is where the ghost matter is, right? Yep. Is there anything part way in here? All right. I'm not going to bother with that. All right, you are the unidentified signal. Is this place just peaceful? Is a tornado just not come here? That'd be nice. I found an I found you, astronaut. Gabo, Gabro. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything. But lately, I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. Oh, so you're in the time loop, too. What about you? Have you died lately, or is it just me? Uh, no, it's me, too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusual lately. Yeah, time loop makes sense. Cool. <laughs> I love how these people are just... If, they, if you tell them something and they see that it's true, they're just like, Oh, yeah, that's cool. That makes sense. <laughs> Like with the guy at the, at the... Wait, what did I just say? I'm afraid I'm gonna get launched into space. Okay, let's not lose ourselves. Just... <laughs> okay, I wanna keep talking to you. Let's fall back in, in, okay. Are we going to die when we land? No, I guess not. Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? I'm telling you, they'll put a trance in you if you stare at them long enough. How's space treating you? Uh, I found something. Nice, nice. Okay, never mind. Uh. What are you doing out here? Well, what are any of us doing out here, really? Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm out here exploring our solar system, same as you. But I tell you what, outer space really gives you time to think. It's quiet and peaceful out here. This isn't outer space, this is a planet. I mean, it's usually quiet and peaceful. Sometimes a cyclone comes by and lifts my little island paradise clean out of the water. Then, less peaceful. Uh, where should I explore? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. I know. 
What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as that's the island where I found the glowing to my statue. Got it? There's one of those here. I was on the beach in the Statue Island. The whole glowy thing happened, by the way. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I get a solid 7 out of 10 on Gabber Relaxation. If you feel like checking out Statue Islands with two islands connected by a natural rock arch, we'll mostly connect. You'll see. See you later. Cool. Take it easy out there. There it goes. Now it's going a different direction. It's coming right at us. Is it going to hit our planet this time? <laughs> no. <laughs> that thing shoots in different directions every time. That must mean that it is also re-time looped. It's like shooting out different messages for the time loop or something. Here we go. Coming right back. All right, and this time... I want to go and check out the station again. Match. All right, let's get ourselves on the underside of this thing. Okay, we got to keep adjusting so that we can get here. All right. And those other parts, I'm assuming there's nothing to find on those other parts. They're just, you know, parts of the barrel. All right, let's land. Thank you, automatic gravity stuff. Thank you, game assistance. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back to, oops, right back to visit Gabbro again once we're done checking out this station again. All right, I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of operating this suit in space. Can I turn myself? Yes, I can. It's kind of weird. All right, so we have translated all these things before, so we don't need to do it again. Oh, come on. Okay, that is, where's, down. That's the one with the stuff. This is the one with the probe. You know what I just thought of? We could actually get a view of what's in here if instead of shooting the probe out the crack, we chuck it right through here. Did I make it? Yeah, and it gets stuck there. And now we can check out what's in this place. Okay, so it's a big room. It looks like there could be interesting stuff in there if we could get in. Wait. Are any of the windows cracked? Like, can we get in from the outside? Do I want to try? That'd be pretty scary. I think I do. I'll try after I go uh, look the other way and see those projection stones. Going through the chamber. Trees detected. <laughs> I love that there are just trees. <laughs> Here we go. So we could choose whether to go up or down. Let's go down. And you know, of course, because like up and down have have meaning in space. We did translate all these, right? Giant deep protect projection stone. No, I might not have translated any of these. I have bad news. Yaro says there was a problem with the proposed power source. The orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. Wait, we just did this locomotive limb. Okay, yeah. So we read that. Okay, so each of these tablets seems to have a a text for it. And the music in this game is freaking cool. 
This is mystery stuff. We gotta go up there. Giant's Deep Projection Stone. Is this gonna show us the chamber? Yeah, this is just showing us the same place we just were at. Okay, what else is there to find here? Let's hop up. Whoop! Okay, we're fine. Now there's just this stuff, which is moving. Hopefully, because of tidal forces and not because it's alive. Yep, down. Ooh, I can move this. What happens when I move this? Am I gonna launch something? Oh, and there's these things again. Okie dokie! Some kind of a model. Alright, and these rings came out. Okay. I need to I need to go back to Terra Timber Hearth and see if I can find a ball to bring to uh, this device that we found back there. Can I translate this one down here? No. Probe tracking module missing. Viewport window window fractured. Module exposed to vacuum of space. Intact. No structural damage. Damage report. Severe structural stresses detected. Assessing damage to modules. Wait, are there multiple pages in any of these? No. There does seem to be something down there, but I can't read it. Okay, let's see if we can pull this up and then read any of these other things. Like if we drop it right there. Cool. So that's the design specs, I assume. What is that? Oh, this is this is a simulation. Okay. It showed what happened. Warning, overall probe cannon structure com compromised during launch. Damage to multiple modules detected. Mo probe tracking module is receiving data from probe. Orbital probe cannon. Launch request received. Okay. So, it received data from the probe and then it was destroyed. So I think what we need to do is we need to find another probe tracker somewhere in the solar system. What is this? Another station? Is there any text? Here we go. Seven minutes, 45 seconds ago. Request to launch probe received from Ash Twin Project. Oh, that was pretty close to uh, last loop when we read it. Cannon aligned with a randomly selected probe trajectory. Gravity field activated. Randomly selected. It must be, it must be quantum random selection so that it can change every time loop. That's freaking cool. That's amazing. And then over here, there's just nothing. Just put the ball back where it began. Okay. Well, now that I've done that, I want to see if I can get into the other side. Yep. I want to hover in the middle. Don't want to be gravitationally bound to either of the corners. By corners, I mean sides. Faces. Nope. Dang it. I, I always get turned around in these things. Maybe I should just not move. Okay, where do I want to go? Stop moving. Okay. I want to go... Oh, yeah. Untranslated. No, it's translated. Not launch module. Or is it launch? Yeah, launch module. I want to go to launch module. I want to come in from the outside. This is going to be really scary, because i got to go out without my ship. Because if I go out with my ship, my ship is going to fly away. <laughs> Stay still. Okay. This is the weird thing. Yep. Get into the ship. Refuel. Okay, get out of ship again. 
Now I don't remember which way it is, but I'm going. Uh, down. This might be it. This is a bad idea. I regret everything. Is this the one? No, that's the... Yeah, this is the main area. Nope, don't go down. Oh, I'm so scared because of Giant's Deep. But I'm in orbit. I'm fine. Okay, I got plenty of fuel. Oh, it feels like I'm going to fall in. As long as I just stay close to this, I'll be fine. Ugh. Oh. Okay, where do we go? This way? That's the cannon. The, the, the cannon is not where we want to go. Oh, oh, where am I? Be very careful. Down. Oh. Okay, where is this? Okay. That's... Okay, I guess I could have jumped out through there. That's the broken one, which means this one is the one with a crack, right? I might be wrong, but that's okay, because I can just go around again. I have plenty of fuel, plenty of oxygen. All right. It's scary. What's those, what's flashing? Is it just the sun? All right, is this the place with the break? No, it is not. I went to the wrong one. Ugh. Okay, time to go back. And go to the other one. This one. Plenty of fuel, plenty of oxygen. All right, we're tilting away from the planet, which makes me happier. Here we go, here we go. Can we get in here? Is it big enough? I think it is. Ha ha ha. We got inside, guys. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Can I get my oxygen back? No, the tree's dead. Okay, we got some things. We've got some projection stones. We gotta watch our oxygen. Getting back should be faster because we're not going everywhere. Mallow, my better 50%. Cassava is sending the last of the cannon components. Soon, relatively speaking, we'll know the eye's precise location. The thought of concluding our Elder's curious and challenging search increases my heart's temperature, my love. Also, look out there. There's an island. Falling back into the ocean. I didn't get a good look at it. Kasava tells me he and the construction yard crew have determined a power setting. We are not, under any circumstances, to go above. I see. Am I right to think that, consequently, we'll be ignoring that setting? Yes, and things will be blowing up. Giving the orbital probe cannon all the power it can structurally withstand creates the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. I can posit with nearly 100% certainty our friends will have accounted for our natures, so I suggest we do. Alright. <laughs> Yes, the probe must travel as fast as it can, as far as it can. I'll make ad some adjustments. Okay. Uh, control module projection. Is that just the other side of the ship? Yeah. And it shows Giants Deep because that's what's there. I'll put you down here. There's another one somewhere, right? Yeah. Probe tracking module stone. Is that where we are now? I thought it was. Maybe not. 
Imagine Privet, the probe tracking module, will be the first to know the coordinates of the Eye of the Universe. You'll be the first to see them. I am honored and terrified. You won't ask the orbital probe cannon to use so much power that it breaks, will you? Fret not, my nervous friend. We only need to fire the probe once anyway, so who mind if it compromises the orbital probe cannon's structure integrity slightly? Or destroys it, explodes it. I would mind, Mallow. I would mind because we would, won't be capable of receiving our probe's data if the probe tracking module is destroyed. A probe tracking module stone. Is that where we are now, I wonder? Oh yeah, there's more stuff up there. We should check out the ceiling once we're done with this. Ooh. This is different. Have we even been here? Oh, no, this is just... Is this just the other place? Or is it... No! Look at that! The probe tracking... Oh, is that the part that fell into the center of Giant's Deep? Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's what the mystery is, and there's the statue. Wow. So cool. Sun's still looking, uh, we got some time left. Wow, cool. I gotta get my, I gotta get some oxygen. Can I use anything over here? I cannot stand on the ground. Whoop. I'm falling into the bowl. Is there the ball anywhere? Or did it fall out? I think the ball fell out. Alright, I gotta get back to my ship. Or at least somewhere with trees. And not tear my suit on the glass here. Alright. Wow, this is so cool. Hey look, the ship's right there. Hmm. Still looking decently orange. Oh, that's so creepy, but I know that as long as we land, we'll be fine. Because it's in orbit. Okay. Is there more to find here? I gotta refuel. Um, wrong button. <laughs> Ship log. Alright, construction yard. Ocean depths. Yep. Gabbro's Island. <laughs> okay, so now I've explored those modules. And the the thing is not here. Uh, zoom. So it doesn't have the star here. So that means that we are indeed finished here. I believe. It's actually marred. Ocean depths. Now what does this mean? The exclamation. It mean unsolved mystery? Or does it mean new? Does it mean... What's it mean? Village Zero G Cave. Those are the only things that don't have exclamation. It means part of a quest, probably. Um. Doesn't this say... Okay, view entry. There's more to explore here. Okay. There is not more to explore here. There above its maximum power setting to generate the greatest chance of finding the eye of the universe. Launch module badly damaged. Okay. Tracking module. I saw the probe tracking module through into my projection tool. It looks like the module is underwater. You see purple electricity outside the viewport. We need a jellyfish. Okay, so the mystery is shaping up. The Nomai are looking for the eye of the universe, and I don't know if they have anything to do with what's causing the sun to explode. Presume it's not natural. <laughs> um, yeah, Gabbro's Island. There's more to discover on Gabbro's Island. Yeah, because I didn't finish talking to Gabbro before the sun exploded. Uh. Okay, but it's all coming together. Like, we, we learned that the tracking module is at the bottom of the sea. The jellyfish protects us from electricity. Now, I assume that's the giant's deep sea, because, you know... Um, the thing exploded, and part of it went into the ocean, most likely. 
You can probably even see it when we look up at the beginning. And it's all tied back to what we see when we open our eyes. 